The other yeah. thing here that I would say is wonderful to me is somebody you know who's very in interested in hearing diverse voices in our classrooms and you know making sure that even the quieter people get to participate which is which is an issue in a, a live class you know in a live class you got the same five people and we all know what they look like um dominating the conversation whereas in an in-person class i can kind of say i'll come back to you <laughs> and I, what i'd really like to do is hear from you know joanne or whatever it is and so you can bring out the quieter people and give them the space to communicate which has been something I struggle with in person because you know the dynamics of in person. You know you're thinking about your content and who's there and what's next and is it time for lunch yet? And you know there's a lot on your mind. So trying to pick out the people that you really want to bring forth is is not always easy. So the I, I, I wholeheartedly agree with that. In in my own teaching, uh, I find uh, in my own teaching online is that I make sure to go and call on every single person who's in the class. Whereas. I think when I was doing it in person, I, w I didn't have that sort of discipline, but you know, because I can see everybody, I can sort of have a good sense and you, you have a little bit more control to, uh, you know, to, like you said, to, 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 to pace everybody to make sure that it's, that everybody's heard. I, I think it's, it's true. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a big improvement and makes everybody feel much more included mm -hmm. in the entire experience. And I think, I think, you know, we, we know from research, right, that when you have more diverse participants, that the quality of the interaction is better. I mean, that, that's well researched. Absolutely.